Dr. Stephanie Freiberg is a social psychologist, but first and foremost, she is a Tula Lip tribal member. She can speak her native language, which is Lashootseed. Dr. Freiberg has fond memories of growing up on her great grandfather's land on the Tula Lip Indian Reservation near Marysville, Washington. The homes of her grandparents, aunts, uncles, and cousins were just steps away. She graduated from Marysville Pilchunk High School in 1989. She discovered social psychology while attending Kenyon College where she received her Bachelor of Arts. She earned her master's and in 2002, her PhD from Stanford University. In 2011, she was inducted into Stanford's Multicultural Alumni Hall of Fame. Her professional career soon started. In 2003, she was named Assistant Dean for Multicultural Graduate Student Services at Stanford School of Humanities and Sciences. Dr. Freiberg has taught psychology at the University of Arizona and the Tula Lip community at Marysville School. She taught American Indian Studies and Psychology at the University of Washington. She is currently the University Diversity and Social Transformation Professor of Psychology at the University of Michigan. Some of Dr. Freiberg's notable studies include a series of four studies to investigate the impact of stereotypes portrayed by Native American mascots on Native American children concerning their self-identity and self-conception. The first study showed that Native American high school students had positive ideas about Pocahontas and other widely known Native American characters. But the second study results showed that these images decreased their self-esteem. The third study showed a decrease in the students' perceived community worth. The fourth study involved Native American college students. The images shown to them decreased the number of ways in which they envisioned themselves achieving in the future. Her study concluded that Native American mascot imagery is harmful to Native American students because it portrays them in limited and simplistic ways, resulting in them seeing themselves in this manner. In 2012, Dr. Freiberg studied the connection between anthropology and cognitive science from the perspective of cultural psychology. This study helped people understand human functioning in different contexts and that cultural psychology connects cognitive functions to cultural upbringing, allowing people to be understood on a more diverse individualistic level. It also showed that cultural practices should not be approached with a biased perspective, being that just because it's different doesn't mean it's inferior. In 2013, she did a study on survivors of the 2010 Chile earthquake and Hurricane Katrina to find out how they deal with the trauma, specifically by attributing the disasters to religious factors. She found those who were the most negatively impacted by the disasters were most likely to attribute it to religion or that it was a punishment from God. Education level and race were taken into account, but the findings were still true. Traumatic experiences such as seeing dead bodies contributed more toward the religious attribution than to one's trauma reaction. Another 2013 study investigated 115 Nescopi students from Quebec. Before the experiment, information was gathered about the students. This included their assertiveness, grades, and how much they identified with Caucasian or Native American culture. Findings were the stronger the connection with culture, the higher the grades, whether it be Caucasian or Native American. Low cultural assertiveness when it came to cultural identification led to lower grades. Having a strong cultural and racial identity can help Aboriginal students perform better academically. The study showed that Aboriginal students' low grade performance can be attributed to how they are nurtured in school and it's not inherent. In a 2019 collaborative study about Native American attitudes toward Native American mascots, 
it was found that there was opposition to native mascots, with more than half saying they were offended by the Redskins name. Dr. Freiberg's articles and collaborations have been published or cited in many journals. Here is just a few. Dr. Freiberg advocates for Native Americans on many levels. In 2011, she testified before the U.S. Senate Committee on Indian Affairs about racist stereotypes on indigenous people. She is a member of the APA and the SPSSI. She has received many honors, the most recent being the 2021 Distinguished Service to SPSSI Award for her notable impact on the field of social psychology as well as on society as a whole, and for remediating the field's relative lack of visibility and attention to indigenous perspectives. step back and I, I'm thinking about something you said earlier about little culture and big culture and when we talk about health disparities in America often what we're talking about is individualized health care and this notion of individuality or independence in culture is actually a very western middle class white way of being and I think one of the problems is that it really sets us up to think that you individually need to change whereas many tribal people see themselves as parts of collective and health is something where we you know we feel part of families it's hard if you say you need to change how you eat but we eat as families we eat as a community and so really you know, some of that discrimination comes by way of individualism and the fact that, you know, we hold people individually accountable for their outcomes, but many of the outcomes are systemic, right? They're the result of the way that our identities are treated. You know, one of my favorite, um, and, and by that I mean it sarcastically, um, <laughs> comments that we hear in American society is, that native people, right, so let's take the mascot issue as an example, we have bigger problems in Indian country. We do, but at the heart of all those problems is our identity. And so there's no way that you begin to deal with the issues in society if you don't first protect who we are as tribal people. And so there's a real need to understand sort of both systemic and individual levels here and to really think about culture in a big way. Most doctors are not coming out of Indian country. And so many Native people have to go and meet with people who only get Hollywood's version of Natives, who don't have real contact, aren't getting the real story. We know that in education, 80, over 85% of what children learn in education is about Native people pre-1900. And so who we are as contemporary people is really absent in healthcare, education, law. I mean, everywhere you turn, we are consistently being influenced by these bigger issues. Well,